Hello my loves, it's Monica and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you all my library and reading organization system and this is a system that I've been working on for many moons now and it's been really helpful for me in just staying organized and being more intentional with my reading and book purchasing. So the system that I am using and going to be highlighting in this video is Notion. I'm actually really excited because I'm partnering with them for this video, which is wild to me because I've been using Notion for years. So this is like <laughs> such an amazing opportunity. Um, but yeah, before I started using Notion for tracking my reading in my library, I've used many many tools basically every tool app website notebook that you could possibly imagine I have used it and tried to make it work for me and nothing has ever just been exactly what I needed you know like I've used Goodreads which is fine but sometimes I don't really love the social element of it sometimes I just want to like read a book and not have to worry about people being upset if I don't love or love a book that they view differently and also I just find Goodreads to be more frustrating than anything because of the lack of updates over many 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 years despite like user requests for that um, and I've used various other similar systems to try and like track my wish list or you know books that I own and what I want to read and, and what I've been reading and just nothing has been everything I need it to be or things are like too complicated you know they ask for a billion different things for you to fill out and I just like I don't want to fill out a billion different things like I know what I want to write and then while I do love journaling and writing out my thoughts on what I'm reading I also know that I do need a digital place to host all of this so that it's searchable and all of that having a digital place for me to really track my reading and the books that I own has been really important for me and having this system has been so helpful for me to just organize myself and also to be a lot more intentional about the books that I am purchasing or what I'm reading so I really really love it and I'm so excited to share with you all the system that I've created. So yeah I'm gonna be running through Notion on my MacBook but the really cool thing about Notion and one of the reasons why I love using it is that you can have it across various devices. So obviously I use it when I'm on my computer but I also have it on my iPad and my phone so I'm out and about for example if I see a book and I want to add it to my wish list, I could do that super easily or if I want to see if I already own a book it's also again super easy because everything is across all devices and I just that's definitely a big selling point for me when it comes to the platform. So while I'm going to be focusing primarily on how I track my reading I did want to talk through some other ways that I use Notion just because it does all sort of like feed into each other. So one of the reasons that I really fell in love with Notion is that it can be as complicated and in-depth as you want it to be or as light as you want it to be. So for example I know a lot of people have like super in-depth like personal planners and they have like lots of databases and like things that are connected and for me when it comes to like my everyday life planner that has never worked for me and <laughs> it's one of the main reasons why like things like bullet journaling also never worked for me because once you give me too many things to track every day mm -mm. <laughs> it's never gonna happen for me so basically I always start off my notion um, the first page I look at is my planner page and I come here and I update this every Sunday and it's what I reference every day throughout the week. I like to start off the week by writing out a new mantra. So for this week I just have take a deep breath, it's going to be okay in the end. Um, clearly your girl is stressed right now, I have a lot of stuff going on and so it's just a good reminder, it's gonna be okay, take a deep breath. <laughs> definitely an important thing for me to remember this whole week um, and then I'll set some like big overarching goals for the week so for me this week my goals are to read three books which is probably not gonna happen but you know what we like to dream big uh, pack for my trip because I'm going on a big trip next month and I need to pack this week um, and I also need to pre-film some April videos because again I'm gonna be gone next month uh, and I need to have a couple videos pre-filmed for that and then I have a focus for the week and so for me that is keep 
moving because <laughs> I'm definitely someone who uh, I can very easily like get bored of a task or get frustrated with a task and like sit down on my phone and then be there for two hours and I just I can't let myself do that this week there's too much going on I have to keep moving and then I come through and what I usually do is I will write out physically all of my to do's that I have like in my head and that's really important for me just to like get everything out and to clear my head space <laughs> because if I don't do that then it's like you know I'm going a mile a minute inside my own head and I can't really focus so writing it all out and just getting it all out on paper is really important for me but that is very much so just the first step in terms of like creating a to-do list or being productive because it's so easy at least for me to write out a to-do list and then like never do the things or to do like the easiest things first so instead of doing that i like to break up my to-do list into different days that i need to do them um so it's sunday right now as i'm filming this so i still need to fill out some of the later days in the week but these are some of the to do's that i have spread out across the week um, and then i also like to write out the books that i am currently reading so that i can remember that i'm reading them because <laughs> believe it or not sometimes I forget. So this week I'm currently working on Amari and the Night Brothers and the Love Hypothesis. So my goal is to finish both of those and to read one other book and that will be three books which would be amazing if I actually did that. Again I don't think I'm actually going to but here's to here's to dreaming. Lastly I have a habit tracker and for me like I know people track like so many things in habit trackers like I've seen people's habit trackers have like 20 things in them and that again that's too much for me so I pick three things and I'm like these three things if I do if I do these every day um, my life would just be peak so I just go through and I clear it out every week and I restart it um, and yeah I just basically what I do at this page at the beginning of every week is clear it out and then refill it in and I don't need like this historical data around these things that I'm doing so this is fine for me and I love how just simple this is and that's why again why I love notion is because you can do something super super simple like this or you could do something a bit more in-depth if you also want to so showing something a bit more in depth I have my content calendar I can't really go too much into this because I don't want to spoil my future content but I really like planning my content and hosting it in notion next level for me it has been so so helpful in just keeping me organized keeping me on track and and to also just like enable me to be more creative because i have a place where i have all of my you know brainstormed videos and i have the place where i organize them um, and so this is the calendar that i created for my youtube content so for example my creatathon vlog just went up um, so i'm going to go ahead and change that status to completed and then i can also choose the category of the content that i'm creating and this is really helpful too because then like i can look at this calendar at a glance and see like oh I'm creating like a ton of book content maybe I'll throw in a gaming video or something and then if I you know if I have a if the video is sponsored then I can select that and then I'll, I'll add a due date so that I know when I need to get the video to them for approval um, and then a publish date and then I can also mark who the sponsor is and that way I can also like keep track of who I'm working with and how many times I'm working with them and things like that so yeah I this is this has definitely been a game changer for me for sure so now we are going to dive into what we've all been waiting for which is my reading section in my notion I start off with my overarching database and this is my book tracker so this is every book that I own or read um, and now I did not go back historically and add in like all the books I've ever read it's just like from um, the beginning basically from the beginning of this year onwards all the books that I've read plus all the books that I currently own here in New York City so this was definitely a little bit of an undertaking I had to give myself like a night to sit down and fill all of this out but it's been so worth it and now it's just like about upkeep at this point and just adding in new books as I add them or removing books as I get rid of them. So if I want to add a new book I just click new and let's say I want to add in Love in the City by Song Young Park. Um, all I would do is I would type in the title 
then I type in the author and this is my first book added by this author so it also adds that as like a category so if I have like multiple books by an author I can just click on that name and see all the books that I own by them um, or I can filter by that and then I select if I own it so I do own it already so I've checked that uh, status is TBR because I have not read it yet um, the format that I own is in paperback genre is literary and adult and then lastly I can add tags so for this one I added own voices Asian Korean translated queer and male male um, and then once I've read a book I can go ahead and add um, a rating for it if I so choose um, and then I can also add like the date started date finished number of pages um, if it's a series I can add the name of the series and then have all of that info in there and the number that it is in the series and then also I can add a cover and that will come into play later on. So yeah now that is added into my book tracker and so again this is my big database of just all of the books that I own physically or have read if they are you know an ebook or an audiobook. I usually don't add ebooks or audiobooks until after I've read them just because that is a little bit that could get a little bit unwieldy to try and like track all of my digital books too. So then based off of that database I'm able to create these other views to really keep myself organized and also just like give myself more ways to understand the books that I own or want to read and things like that. So first I have books I own. So these are all the books that are currently on my library. So if I check marked that own button um, then these books show up here and I just like I love this sort of cover view of being able to like view all my books visually also outside of just like the database and then I also created a view that is uh, all the books that I've read in 2022 so I did this just by creating a filter um, and so it's all the books that I have been finished after January 1st of 2022 and then I love this view because again you're able to really customize exactly what you want to see so for me I wanted to see all the books that I've read I want to see their title the author name I want to see what my rating was for it the format that I read it in and then the date that I finished reading it and then I'm also able to if I click into here um, you can see that I'm also able to create notes which is also super helpful for me um, as I'm I can either add notes as I'm reading um, or I can add notes at the end of the um, end of the reading process and again super helpful helpful for me just to um, you know reference back when I am filming videos or just if I want to know what I thought of a book um, I really love the system that I've created it's so helpful and I think it's so pretty too then I have my TBR view and this is again filtering that large database for all the books that have the status of TBR and this is super helpful for me because I can come in here and I can filter this like if I'm like oh I really want to read like a dark academia book then I can just come in here and filter and add filter and I'm gonna do by tags and we'll go ahead and click dark academia and so I own two dark academia books on my TBR that I haven't read and so these are the two that I can choose from and read which is awesome and it's so helpful and again like it just keeps me super organized and makes it a lot easier for me to to know what I want to read next or decide what I want to read next it's been like a total game changer for me um, and then these next two don't aren't really linked to that full database so first we have my wish list so this I just have like as a running list and this is especially something I use on my phone um, when I'm out and about if I find a book and I'm not ready to purchase it right then and there I can just add it to my wish list or if I'm out and about and I'm kind of struggling and I'm like I really want to buy a book right now but I don't know what it is that I'm looking for um, I could just reference this and my wish list is here and once I check it off once I've purchased the book or received the book I can go ahead and just add it to my book tracker so that it's part of my larger library and then lastly I have a series tracker and this is the the thing that I have just added to this and that I want to try and expand and add more to so I don't really have anything to share about this but eventually what I want 
is for this to be a way for me to track the percentage in which I have gotten through my different series and what's really cool is that there's such a community around Notion now like if you are on Reddit or YouTube like for example my friend Alexandra from over at Twirling Pages has a couple videos on Notion and I remember I've been using Notion for a couple of years now but I never really got um into like making mine pretty or making it like super custom I was more so like using it for like day-to-day -day tasks and lists and collaboration with people which it's amazing for but I really wanted to like you know beef up or amp up my notion skills and so her video was super helpful for me because she also had a download to her whole planner which I downloaded and that was really great in introducing me more to all the like interconnected databases and stuff like that um, and I still use um, at least one of the pages for my like personal planner so I wanted to shout that out there are so many different creators who have created different databases that you're able to download and then customize and make work for your yourself and that's an amazing starting point for anybody out there who's maybe interested in getting started with Notion but maybe you're looking at what I've created and you're super overwhelmed and you just don't <laughs> you don't know how to start there and then once you do that I feel like the system becomes super intuitive and you kind of get hooked on it or at least that's what happened to me I will go ahead and add a link down below where you can get Notion and then also if you want to use my system I've included a template so that you can like use it and see if you know my system works for you but also you know feel free to customize it edit it as you see fit so that it works the way that you need your system to work but yeah I hope this video was helpful for you all I had a few people ask me for this so I was really excited to share it and also really excited to partner with Notion thank you so much to Notion for sponsoring this video if you guys want to check them out I will have a link down below where you can do that I'll also have a link to my notion template in case you want to use that yourself and thank you all so much for watching bye